everybody, you are watching Let's Zoom It and in this episode I'm going to take a look at the sunspot that should be visible on the sun today. Uh, I saw it yesterday but it was too windy to actually film something so today we will take a closer look and I will compare the Nikon P1000 with the Celestron uh, CPC 800 telescope and we will see which one uh, we can get the, the best result of. Uh, camera versus the telescope. And uh, I will start with the uh, Nikon P1000. So what should I say? Uh, let's zoom it. Okay, so we will try holding a solar filter in front of the Nikon P1000. Let's zoom it. There we have the sunspot. No, I don't think I can get better than that with the Nikon P1000. We will change for the telescope. So here we go with the, with the telescope, Celestron CPC 800. This is with no tele, uh, teleconverter attached. This is just the, I'll say, 0 0.7 reducer flattener so that we are able to see the whole sun. And the sunspot. And I will add one teleconverter that will double the amount of zoom and see how the result will be. So this is the telescope itself without any reducer flattener or anything. Just the telescope and solar filter. Now it's time to add the first teleconverter to double this zoom. So here we go with one teleconverter. We will add the last teleconverter and see the maximum zoom that we can get from this. So this is the maximum zoom but I have hard to get focus. This setup should be equivalent to about 12,800 millimeter focal length. Try us to touch the focus.
Thank you so much for watching this video guys and uh, I hope you found it uh, interesting. Uh, if you did, please uh, hit the like button and uh, if you have some good ideas about how I could, how I could do to get a better and sharper image, um, so please comment uh, and give me your, ad your advice. Uh, until next time, I say thank you so much and have a good time. Bye.